what I want to do is I want to show you guys how to solve a systems equation using three variables. So far, we've already done systems with two variables, and we learned that we can use elimination or substitution. Well, we're going to do the exact same thing, but now we have three variables. And first of all, we know we can solve this because we have three equations, three variables. That's kind of just always a rule of thumb, rule of thumb to know that you can go and solve for each variable. Uh, so the first thing that we need to go and do is we need to we need to start eliminating variables. So by using the elimination method, we need to start we need to eliminate a variable. And the first thing we need to do is we need to decide which variable is going to be the easiest to eliminate. And if we just pick two equations, between those two equations, what will be the easiest? And let's just go and look at the top two. Well, I'd definitely say not x, because x both have two different coefficients. So I'd have to multiply the top by 3 and the bottom by 2 just to get them to have a common coefficient of 6. right? However, these already have a common coefficient. and this is just a multiple two, so this won't be too hard, but definitely y is the easiest. And if I look at between all three equations, my y all have the same coefficients. So already my work is done. Remember on elimination, I had to multiply an equation by a multiplier to get it to be the same equation or get the same coefficient. Here, that work is already done for us. So I'm actually in good shape um, by trying to eliminate the y's. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually going to give a number to each equation. So the first thing I want to do is Let's go and eliminate a variable using the elimination technique for 1 and 2. And I notice, since they both have the same coefficient, and one's positive and one's negative, if I just add these two equations together, my y's are going to cancel out because a y plus a negative y is 0y, which is 0. So let's just go ahead and do 1 and 2, and we'll just add them together. So I get 2x plus y minus z equals 5, and this is 3x minus y plus 2z equals negative 1. If I add them up together, I get 5x plus z equals 4. Okay? Now, I've successfully eliminated the y variable, and this new equation I'm just going to call a. All right? Then I have to go back and let's say, all right, well now, I've already done one and two, so now my two other equations I need to do is, I can either do equations one and three, or I can do equations number two and three. So, I can go ahead and, um, so if I'm gonna go ahead and eliminate either by two or three or one and three, I notice that one and three would be the easiest because that's a positive and that's a negative. So again, I can just add the two equations up again. So I'm gonna do one and three now. So 1, I have 2x plus y minus z equals 5. And now I'm going to add 3 to it. And that is x minus y minus z equals 0. Add those two equations up. I get 3x. The y's now cancel out. I get a negative 2z equals 5. Okay? I'm going to label this b. So now what I've successfully done twice, I have eliminated my y variable, and I've created two new equations, a and b. So now what I want to do is, now I have two variables to solve for, and I have two equations. So now what I need to do is I need to use elimination again. You could also use substitution, but I'm going to use elimination again to eliminate one of the variables. So I put these next to each other. I get 5x plus z equals 4, and 3x minus 2z equals 5. So that's a and b. And what I notice is, if I wanted to eliminate, the easiest, the variable easiest to eliminate it would be the z, because all I need to do is multiply it by a 2, and then I'd have a coefficient of 2. And that would be a positive 2 minus, or plus a negative 2 would give me a 0, 2. So I need to go ahead and multiply by 2. So therefore I get um, So I'll get 10x plus 2z equals 8 over 3x minus 2z uh, equals 5. Therefore, now when I add these up together, 13x equals 13. Divide by 13. Divide by 13 x equals 1. 
So now I've successfully solved for x equals 1. Now all I need to do is just figure out the rest of the variables. So I plug x into one of these equations because this only has two variables. So I'll use the top equation. So I'll do 5 times 1 plus z equals 4. And then obviously by doing this, you can say that z equals negative 1. And then I'll plug in both of these into one of my original equations and solve for y. And I'm going to want to solve for the positive y. So I'll go ahead and do 2 times 1 plus y equals, I'm sorry, minus a negative 1, which would be a plus 1, equals 5. And that would be 3, so y would equal 2. All right, so the main important thing when you're doing a system of three equations is to first label your equations, pick a variable to eliminate, then go ahead and eliminate either by picking equation, pick two, two out of the three equations, eliminate to get a new equation, then use elimination again to get another new equation, and notice that you have to eliminate for the same variable. So I had to eliminate for y for both times I did that. Then I used these two new equations and I have to use elimination again, or substitution, to go ahead and get for a problem. Yes? What if um, the third one that you need to do only has two variables? Say for number three, it only has um, x minus y and doesn't have z. Then you're already, then already one of these, one of these equations has already been done for you. So the work has already been done for you. So then simply all you need to do is do equations one and two and eliminate. So you said y and z? So then what you'd have to do is, for 1 and 2, I would eliminate the x variable, and then, then you have your a and b equations. So 3 would always already count for b. You just have to yeah. find a. Yeah, exactly. 